Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. It's Malzi here. Let me turn this music down a little bit. This is quite loud. Yeah, that's better. There we go. That's better. Okay, so today, it's Malzi here. Welcome back. Today, we are going to work on this house. This is the more than a trailer house. And I I did this game or this house before, but I didn't record any videos because I screwed it up pretty bad. So I just got frustrated and sold it. So I don't want to do that today. I want to give it a nice makeover. I have not done anything. And actually, what I think I'm going to do right quick is take a screenshot for the, um, the thumbnail, because I also figured out how to do thumbnails. Yay! Um, okay, so we're going to do a walkthrough. I know there's a hole in the wall over here. Yeah, we're going to definitely fix that. Pick up all this trash. This place is a wreck. I have not done anything. I haven't even done a walkthrough right now. We're going to sell that right off the bat. Um, so it's got an entrance to the basement down here, and then um, this is actually kind of a cool house. It's actually not bad at all. It's got, a, I think it's a one bedroom, one bathroom house. I'm going to try to change that. And then, you know, we have the garage, which is full of trash. It's got like a desk here. Maybe we'll put in like a nice workbench or something. Definitely going to fix the hole in the wall. Come up the stairs and then we're coming in through the garage door. <coughs> We've got this like room here, the laundry room there. And then this opens up into the house, which is like so boxed off. Crazy. Okay, this leads down to the basement. This is the bathroom which is a hot mess. Um, and then you've got, this is so weird. Okay, you've got this entrance here and then like a closet here. It's so claustrophobic. So this is, you know, obviously the front door it doesn't even open all the way. And then over here, we've got like a tiny, tiny kitchenette with a little living room and in here is the bedroom, which is, not that bad, but I'm not really digging what they've got going on here. And then we'll go down to the basement. And it's actually really big down here. Really big. So before what I did, when you guys didn't get to see, there's a half bath here that I'm probably going to turn into a full bath. Um, or, you know, with the shower. <coughs> And then what I did before was I made this into a, like, rentable apartment. Because there is a separate entrance here. So this person could, like, have this as a rental property. And that's what I, that's what I did before. And I think I'm going to do that again. So this will have its own, like, area. We'll start down here. First, we're going to clean up all the trash everywhere. We're going to clean everything up, get rid of all the trash, sell all the garbage. Um, clean all the dirt and all, the, all that good stuff. It looks like all of it's in there. Um, I'm going to turn this into an actual full bathroom. May have to get rid of that window, but we'll see. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, there does not appear to be too much, terribly too much trash in the house itself. Not bad. We'll sell all of this. I'm thinking of, oh, obviously we're going to open everything up. Like everything. Um, We'll give them a nicer bathtub. 
nicer bathroom furniture. Um, get rid of this. Um, gosh, you can barely walk in here. It's so crowded, it's so cluttered. Uh, we're gonna fix it. We'll get rid of it. Everything's gotta go. Everything must go. Wow, they really like their cups. You know, I can't, I can't laugh about this too much though because, oh, that's cool. I did not realize that it did that. Because I actually collect cups and glasses and things. I do. Um, <coughs> I have some from Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. I've got some from um, um, Excalibur in Las Vegas when we went 100 years ago. Not 100 years ago. 2016. We went for our 20th wedding anniversary. And um, we went to the show at Excalibur, and I saved the glasses. And I have, let's see, some from the Improv in Ontario, California. Dick's Last Resort. <coughs> um, what else do I have? I've got even one that my brother sent me. Um... He sent it to me. It's um, a bar in Mackinac, California. I think it, or not California, Mackinac, Michigan. I believe that's where it is. I know it's in Michigan. I've never been there. Um, but um, it's from a bar there, and my brother sent it to me. And it sits up on the shelf in my living room. I even have... I just went to, um, remember I told you I was going out of town, um, was it last weekend? I think it was last weekend. So we went to the wild animal park and do you know when you buy just like a regular drink there, they, um, they serve it to you in an aluminum cup. So it's totally reusable. So I saved it and I have it I actually use it. Pretty cool. It's a nice cup like their regular drink cup and then um my my brother-in-law ordered a like a mixed drink and they gave him like a it's a plastic cup but it looks like a souvenir cup so i saved that too so that's my <coughs> my little like weird collection i guess maybe it's not that weird I'm gonna pick up the trash can here in a second Pick up the trash can. Bring it over here. I actually do like their trash cans in this game. Let's pick up the trash bag here. And one here. And let's just go through and just start selling everything. I... Uh, I guess I like the beam. I guess the beam can stay. The lights can stay. The desk can stay. That can stay. I, I guess there's nothing really to sell in here. Maybe we'll change this, though. Because I don't like the particle board. I want, like, actual wood. Um, I always go for the European walnut. Let's, let's use... You know what? Let's use mahogany for this one. We'll use something a little different. Okay. So that'll be our accent wood color. Whoops. Get rid of that. We're going to keep this door, but we're going to get rid of absolutely everything in, on this. Get rid of that because we're going to open this up. We're going to get rid of these and that. We're just going to like assume that that's all there. Okay, and let's get rid of this and that. This wall's going to go away. This wall's going to go away, which means the light needs to go away. <coughs> that needs to go away. That can stay. That can stay. 
We're going to get rid of all of this. We might even get rid of this. I'm not sure yet. This is all built in. Let's sell this for now. And let's actually get another door. We could put it there. Actually, we'll put it here. I guess those can stay, <coughs> but this is all going to go away, so that's going to go away. Let me see. I thought about having all of this go away. That's going to go away for sure. Everything in here is going to go away. Um... I hate that bathtub. It's ugly. I mean, actually, this bathroom's not that bad. It's just... Uh, it's just claustrophobic. Maybe we'll see about it when we get everything else sold. Like, that's gonna go away. This is definitely going away. <coughs> the door I'm not mad about. We'll see if we can... Re and We'll see if we can refinish it. Get rid of all the dang stupid slippers. They need to give us better shoes. Like, who? Those are slippers. Like, who has 500 pairs of slippers at their front door? This is all going to go away. And this is definitely all going away. The first time when I did this house, I tried to turn it into a two-bedroom house, and I, like, really messed it up bad. To the point where I just was like, okay, I can't do anything else with it, I'm just going to sell it. And that's what I did, I sold it. Did not make much money off of it. Of course, I wasn't expecting to. Okay. Now, before we go cleaning anything. Let's knock out some walls. Bye. I do have a house that I did yesterday and the day before. Did I do it the day before? I did it yesterday. And I'm going to make a video on it in a minute, in a little bit. But I challenged myself to not knock out any walls at all. Like zero walls. So I worked with the floor plan that we already had. And it actually came out really cute. It is the um, blue bungalow. I did it yesterday. And I did not modify any walls. I did add like one, like a strip of wall, but that's it. I didn't knock anything out. And it actually came out really cute. It's a really cute house. I'll, I'll do a video here in a little bit. And I'll post it today. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to knock out the front wall of the house. Wait, why? Oh, that is the front wall. Okay, it's okay. We'll, we'll fix it. We're going to open all of this up and... Um, I'm thinking, okay, now that we have this all opened up, 
I'm thinking maybe we'll put the washer and dryer here. Let's clean this little area real quick and see what fits. I mean, we could also put the washer and dryer here, but I don't, I don't really like that. Okay, let's see. What fits? Does the washer and dryer fit? Oh yeah, they'll fit. They'll fit perfect right there. Well, okay, here's what we're going to do. Dryer. Washer, dryer, and then hmm, that's gonna look silly unless I bring this entire wall out, which I could do. Hmm, the other option would be to put it right here this little alcove, but that's going to look silly. Let's see. I already don't like that. Nope, don't like it. Okay, but here's what we could do. We'll put the washer on top of the dryer. We'll make them stackable. And then what we could do is build this. There's got to be a faster way. Frozen District, make this faster. Come on. Oh, there's a cool thing that I noticed. And we'll sh I'll show you here in a minute. Let's get a doorway. I want just a doorway. We'll do mahogany. Or mahogany. I like that better. So you come in here. Come into here. Got the laundry room right here. And we'll put, let's get a storage, like some kind of storage something. Something thin, tall and thin. Will that fit right? Nope, that's not going to fit there. Hmm. I don't know if anything we have will fit there. That won't fit there. That one needs to fit there. Hmm. Nope. The other option would be can't really bring this out. Or actually, we could. Oh, yes, we can. Okay. Let's move. Move it there for now. The other option. Can't knock that out. I don't know why I'm knocking that side out. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Just this part. And then just this part. Right? What's over here? Okay, that's the entrance to the basement. Watch, I'm probably going to screw it up again. Oh, you know what? We could bring this back. Okay. I can do that. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to knock all of this part out. 
Wait, I think I messed up. I can't. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to put that back. Okay, that's fine. We'll do it. Put this back. Okay, we'll fix it. We're going to fix it. This all has to go back. Okay, so it looks like the washer and dryer are going to go right here on this landing. And then what I'm thinking is... We're going to get rid of the wall that we just built, the one that's to our left. We're going to get rid of that one. This one. This is going to go away. Washer and dryer are going to go here. And then this can be like a little like pantry area. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Okay, now we need to build this wall back. And now, get a door. I like this door. I want to make it mahogany. Mahogany. Mm, what looks good with that? I guess we'll do white for now. And then I want it to open up get it in the middle. Yeah, I want it to open up this way. Yeah, all right. So the washer and dryer can go right here. We need to do like some kind of like built in or something here. Can't move the window over. We could like a tiny bit. Need to come up with some kind of built in. I think I'm going to take the window sill away. Okay. So that's that. That is so much better. So much better. But I'm even thinking. See, this is what I did before. I closed this off so this now becomes a bedroom, but then that only leaves me with this much for living room, kitchen, and dining room. So that's kind of small. So I don't want to do that again. I don't want to make that mistake again. So I'm thinking this is still going to be the living room. Ooh. 
Well, we may put some walls back, but... Um... No, I don't think we are. Or... <coughs> the other thing I could do... Which I think will work better... I think I'm going to do something totally crazy. We're going to sell that. We're sell that and that and that. And if there's no way to fix it. Okay. Okay. We're going to do something totally crazy. Something totally crazy. I, I really didn't mean to sell the door that I put there. Okay, I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me knock out all these walls. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, friends, we are back. And guess what? I've done quite a few changes to our house here. I have added, as you can see, a true front porch complete with a roof. And I'm going to figure out a way to make that look decent. Even if I have to, I might even have to um, make the gable, like... Flat. Yep, that's that's the best I'm gonna get. Okay, so we've added a true front porch. Um, I added a new front door. Um, it's actually bigger than I thought. The front porch. I mean, the the trade off though is that we don't really have much of a front yard, but this house really doesn't have much of a yard anyway. And I think we're gonna bring this over here. And we're going to put it on the front porch. Right there. Okay, so. <coughs> I've added a completely new driveway and walkway. Oh, shoot. Dang it. That always happens. One little square. Okay. So I've added a completely new driveway. I have um, put brick around the bottom of the house. And I think I actually might take some of this now that I see it in the light. Put it here. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Not that one. This one. Let's try this. Oh yeah, that's better. I'm going to do this part off camera, but just to show you, it just makes it look more finished. And then I will put, um, oh yeah, that looks so much better. Okay, that's fine. 
I'll do that part off camera. But so I put in a whole new driveway, a front porch, the um, the um, roof over the porch, changed the garage door, and then out back I got rid of all the extra shrubs and stuff. This is so that I could get rid of the. I'll show you why I have a scaffolding here in a minute. But um, so yeah, here's the back of the house. Here is the back entrance. Um, down here, I, oh, I forgot to vacuum. Let's vacuum up this stuff real quick. And then I'll take you around the front and we'll show you what we did upstairs. Because it is quite different. I told you we were going to do something crazy, and we did. Okay. Oh, I missed a spider web. Okay, so we're going to choose this floor. This is the floor that was already there. I just had to um, buy more of it. That's really pretty though, huh? Okay. Get a couple more of these. That's a real pretty floor. Okay, so this is going to be like a separate apartment. You can call it a mother-in-law suite. You can call it... Call, call it a, a rental apartment, but because it has its own entrance, <coughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna um, make it a rental apartment so that this could now be like a, an income source. Oh, that's gonna have to go away. There is no save in that door. So we'll just get a regular door for now. I will make it open the other way. I don't mind that it opens this way because that's actually going to give us more room. I see another spider web. It's actually going to give us more room for the bathroom. Um, so yeah, this is going to be like a rental apartment. And I'm probably going to get rid of those beams. So I changed out the door back here. We're going to put, um, that's going to be like a laundry room. I'll change this out. Um, the kitchen will go here. A little dining table, living room, and then a bedroom. It's probably going to be like a small hallway right here. A bedroom, and then of course the bathroom. Okay, so that is the, actually we'll go out the other way. That is the basement level. We're going to change these stairs too to match. Um, like I said, I've chosen mahogany for the wood trim here. So we're going to do mahogany. Oh, I probably should do that too. That's fine. I'll fix it. Um, we're going to do the same flooring on the deck here on the porch. And then coming inside, look, I've totally opened it up. So here's what I'm thinking. Kitchen is going to go here. Probably... Mm, Kitchen's going to go here in this corner. Dining room. Well, no. Dining room here. Living room kind of over here. This is the bedroom. And this is the bathroom. Now, what I've discovered is that the ceiling is vaulted. And so I opened up the ceiling to give it like this great big open space and I think that really really makes it like like it, it really opens up the space and makes it feel bigger than it is because this is a pretty darn small house so yeah so this yeah this is a pretty darn small house so I really think that having it open like this is going to help with um, the aesthetic of it. So we're going to duplicate this door. We're going to put it here. And then I think we're going to flip it around the other way. And then we're going to make it to where it opens the other way. So that it opens like this. There. 
that's the door to the basement. And yeah. Okay. So that's where we're at. So we've got our our basement or our garage entrance here. This actually needs to be flipped around as well. But it needs to be this way. So that it opens that way. Oh, and it's perfect with the washer and dryer. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm thinking for the house. I may even move the washer and dryer over there. Because this feels like you come up the stairs, you know, you park your car, you come up the stairs and bam, you're hitting the washer and dryer. I think we're going to move them over here. And we're... Yep, that's what we're going to do. Anyway, that's where we're at with this house so far. Now, let's go ahead and put in our kitchen. And honestly, I like these windows, but I don't know if they're going to work for our purposes here. So we're going to go ahead and just sell them. Whoops. Um, and now let's put in our kitchen. And I think I want to use the wall well set. Whoops. So as you know, I like to start with the corner cabinet. And then I'm going to put and I love the sink. I just really like the idea of the sink in in the front with the window. I just, I love that idea. I think it's, you know, you're washing dishes, <coughs> wash dishes, and you want to um, look out the window. We'll put this as the ending cabinet right there. <coughs> And then we'll put another one here, because we can actually do a pretty, pretty good sized kitchen. Actually, that might be a little too big for there. Let's go ahead and put our stove in. Move this over here. I think I want... And then, of course, the refrigerator. Ooh, that's a big refrigerator. And then, I'm thinking, for an island. I'm thinking I want to do this. Here. Like that. And then, but for this one, I'm going to make it like that. And then we'll do mahogany. Mahogany. The handles can stay black. And then the countertop, we definitely want some kind of stone. I have no idea what color scheme I'm going for in this house just yet. I just know that I'm going with mahogany wood. That's what I want. Okay, so we're going to take this all to mahogany. Okay, metal, black metal. 
Okay. Now, <clears throat> so this is our kitchen. Just to make the dog in there. This is where we can, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then let's go with our uppers. Put our cabinets in and then we can put in our window. Actually, let's um, <coughs> let's put this one in. Yeah, this one. Yeah, we'll go with. Okay, so that's where that's going to go. It still isn't quite over as far as I want. Now we have a place for a window. And here's a little trick that I've learned. Um... So I know that I want, that window's too big. That one will fit. That's a little too big as well. That one's the one. Okay, so here's a little trick that I've learned. So we've got our window and it opens, but I want a window sill. But if you try to tell it to have a window sill while you've got, you know, so like let's say we're just going to buy one, okay? And we're going to put it here. Let's say, okay, I, I want a window sill. So I tell it yes and it won't go, right? It won't go, it just won't work. Well, okay, let me, let me try this again. Okay, let me show you something. Here's something that I learned. Oops. So I want this window, and I want it to have a windowsill. But if you try to put it here with a windowsill, it won't go. It just won't. It won't work. Okay, but... If you tell it no, it will, right? So then what you do is you go ahead and you place it, and then you get your change tool out, and you add the windowsill back in. Now it'll work. And then let's now make our windowsill the same as our countertop. And now what you've got is, that's not right. Oh, it's because the countertops are wrong. I'll fix the countertops. Now what you've got is a countertop. Where did I? Oh, I did the wrong one. Oh, not ceramic. White marble, white. 
There we go. That's the right one. Now you've got a window in your kitchen that has a windowsill and it looks like the countertop is now extended into the window, which I think is a really cool idea, which I think looks really, really nice. I discovered this in a property I was working on yesterday. Um, but yeah, so that is how you get a window with a windowsill in front of your kitchen sink or in front of any of your countertops, in, in any of your kitchen counters, and it works. That's how you do it. You have to place the window without the windowsill first and then go back and edit the window and add your windowsill and it'll work. So that is actually dead on perfect. Okay, so now I need... I need a wide cabinet here. Mm, and I think I want... This one. That is going to fit perfect there. And then we need the little one for here. Oops, that's not perfectly lined up. And then we need one here. That's not going to fit. We need a wide one. How about this one? That one will work. And then let's bring this down. And then let's bring. There we go. All right. And that, my friends, is our kitchen. I think that's a really nice kitchen. Oh, yeah, we need a stove. I always forget the stove, the stove top. And you know what? I'm actually kind of, maybe not that that particular tile, but I'm kind of digging the tile right here, the color, the blue color. But I feel like I always do blue. Hmm. I'll have to figure, I'll have to think about it. Okay, now. So there's our kitchen. I'm thinking maybe a fireplace because there was a chimney. So let's go ahead. Let's build this out. That's 26. Okay. Hang on. This is going to take a minute. There's a reason I'm doing this. Because I want this in the middle of the wall, of the wall right here. I'm going to build out a fireplace because there actually is a chimney on the roof. Okay. So that is the middle.
Okay. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Okay, so let's get a fireplace. I'm thinking this one. Yeah, that's nice. I need to go two more on each side and then I'm going to bring it up a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the recording, get my fireplace built, and I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so I've made some changes. <laughs> so I, I decided not to go with mahogany for the, um, the wood trim. It's just once I started getting things figured out mahogany just wasn't working for me anymore so here's what we are going to do this is like the dark teal and then we have a brown like a dark brown marble countertop and so i've changed the kitchen i've made this copper i think it really makes it pop and i'm going to change that too added a pantry right here and i'll show you why in a second um i changed everything i also painted the walls like this nice kind of not canary yellow but like a dark ish yellow and then we are going to I am going to change this to match the floors I also changed the floors to make them darker and um, this is actually stained chestnut in a really dark brown almost black but not quite and then we went with um, slate stone on the floor in the kitchen and also in the backsplash and then also in the garage we changed it I'm gonna change this I haven't gotten to it yet and I'm gonna change that I haven't gotten to it yet but the reason for all of this change is because this in my opinion is stunning it's the fireplace the fireplace is the inspiration for the entire color scheme but I just think this is stunning I brought in the same um, brick that I used in the driveway and the fireplace is the dark teal with the with the marble on the top and then um, the wallpaper and there's just a tiny 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 pop of yellow in this wallpaper but I think with this dark yellow it really brings it out so and I had I found out that I needed to replace all the windows they weren't savable so I'm going to put the windows back it's not going to be that dark in here when I'm done but um, we are going to do this and we're going to do this oh I like that so much better and then we're going to put it here and then we're gonna probably do it here as well There we go. All right. So yeah, I already I, I've also changed the um, the railing on the deck, and we need to do this. And of course, I did not think to put this on before I did the railing. So now I'm gonna have to move the railing. That's okay. We'll move it. Oh, it's letting me do it there. Maybe, come on. No, okay. Well, that's all right. It's okay, we'll fix it. All right, so that is where we are at with this one. Right here. Right now. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Go ahead and bring this out this way. Whoops. I do want to do like a trim around it with this mahogany or this um, 
file going the other way. And then we're going to do like a lighter, it's, it's not going to be all dark. We're going to do a lighter uh, <coughs> paneling on the outside of the house. We are going to do that. And then, um, yeah. So then let's do rotation this way. Not that one, the rotation this way. I know I'm wasting material, it's fine. like it's starting to get dark again. Mm. We need this one anyway. Alrighty, so there we go. There's that. And then, yeah, we're we're going to make the house lighter because we need. Well, we're gonna need to with all this dark stuff going on. But it's gonna be beautiful when it's done. But I think that's gonna do it for this video, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching me do this house. Um, <coughs> and I will see you in the next one. Please, please give me a like, subscribe comment all the things and i will see you in the next one you guys have a great day and i'll see you later bye